hi everybody welcome back once again to this channel thank you very much for joining us once again so we're going to explore this quite very interesting trigonometric question from your 2024 trial exam from free state province okay so if you're new to the channel guys please make sure that you have subscribed just turn on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time when you upload a new session okay again guys you can support the channel by clicking on the join button um somewhere down there near the subscription button there's a join button and that uh, you can click and there are three ways in which you can support the channel okay without wasting any time let's go and explore this question okay so the question goes if sine x over 2 is equals to p express sine x minus one in terms of p and the question had four marks right um yeah uh, it's quite an interesting question really uh because the uh, number of ways in which you can solve it right and we want to see how much we can learn from this uh question so basically most of you might think of using the triangle method right to say okay let me express this in a triangle right so if we say because it's positive sine x over 2 is equals to p positive i will draw it in the where sine is positive the first quadrant um much better and i have x over 2 right half angle and this is what sine we know that it is what opposite over what hypotenuse so obviously p will be opposite and one will be the what the hypotenuse um opposite is p then uh when you solve for x here using pythagoras one squared equals to p squared plus x squared then you have one minus p squared the root of x you know i mean the the root of that uh which will give you what A root of one minus p squared okay as your x then and then you realize uh, that in this case, but the question is looking for sine x minus 1, right? Sine x minus 1. How can I get sine x? How, how can I incorporate the idea of sine x in sine half an angle, right? You have to think again of uh, double angles in this case, right? Because if you notice, half an angle of x, right? It's actually, if I double this angle, I get what? I get sine x. Can you see? If I say sine 2 into x over 2, 2 and 2 cancel, and you have your sine x. Can you see? So that's that's the idea that they want you to think about, double angle like that. Because if I say sine 2 into x over 2 is the same as what? As 2 sine x over 2 cos what? x over 2 okay uh, because we know this is from sine 2 into x is the same as 2 sine x cos what cos x this rule here okay so using the same idea the same logic you can see oh actually half if i double it i get that sine x that they are looking for can you see and um, if you simplify here 2 times 2 will cancel and you have your sine x now right is equals to what two sine x over two we can express this in terms of p we are told sine x over two is equals to p right then the cos x over two now the triangle helps you to get that cos x over two can you see now because cos x over two is adjacent of hypotenuse which should be root of one minus p squared over one right which will just remain root of one uh, minus p squared there okay then we can finally they say express in terms of p sine x minus one right obviously i'll just come both side and subtract one here so sine x minus one it will be 2p root of one minus p squared minus one because i'm subtracting one here i'll also subtract one there so this is sine x minus one in terms of p i hope you find this helpful don't forget to like share comment and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.